Martial law was declared in Thailand today following six months of continuous protests and some violence. Thai Army Chief Prai Chanocha called for peace between anti-government protesters and supporters of ousted Prime Minister Ying Lakshinawat. As soldiers took over public buildings like state TV stations and set up security posts in and around Bangkok, pro-government supporters, so-called red shirts, expressed their concerns. If General Prayuth does more than implement martial law, such as to stage a military coup, or if he intends to go against the Constitution and not act according to the Constitution, the red shirts have no choice but to fight until the end, because this is a democratic group. And the anti-government movement repeated its calls for an appointed government until national elections take place. Tomorrow we will still be here. We will still have to continue our mission as planned in order to get a prime minister of the people, a government of the people. The Chinese State Internet Information Office says American charges of cyber spying against five military officers is groundless. At the same time, the spokesperson released a long list of attacks against Chinese computers. It says more than a million Chinese computers were controlled by foreign hackers, most of them originating in the U.S. A heat wave in northern India is affecting elephants. The elephants are used to ferry tourists to the city's Amur Fort. They are banned from drinking and bathing in a pond near the fort, so their keepers have to buy water to keep their animals hydrated. Temperatures are well above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. An elephant needs to drink at least 80 gallons of water a day. Hi, I'm Tui Vu, the host of Link Asia. Catch Link Asia every Friday on Link TV, 9.30 p.m. Eastern, 6.30 p.m. Pacific. Check our website for local listings on KCET Los Angeles and PBS's The World Channel.